Hello, my wonderful spirit guides. Today I'm going to be reacting to Christine and the Queen's La Vita Nuova. I think it's said like that, or Nova. La Vita Nova. It might be that, I'm not sure. But um, basically it's a selection of her music videos all put into like a short film sort of thing, I think. Um, so I really look forward to it. Um, I think I'm gonna be doing actually a bit of like a music video marathon today. So I made sure I'm in my camp chair because I quite mean it when I say it's the comfiest thing in the whole house. Comfier than my bed, comfier than the sofa, comfier than my desk chair. Honestly, a camp chair, oh, absolutely beautiful for my back. But <laughs> but yeah, it's a Sunday. I wanted it to be a little bit cozy. So I haven't really got a lot of makeup on or anything. Um, quite literally just have some eyebrows on and a bit of a blush sort of thing. Look, it's a bit bright. But um, yeah, let's get on with it. If you'd like to become a patron, please do a uh, link in the description so on. Follow me on Instagram, I shall follow you back. And um, yeah, like and subscribe, of course. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Okay, let's start. think this song this is the first Chrissy and the Queen songs I ever heard and I think it's actually my favorite I do I, I think it's just my favorite song I've heard from her having the devil on her back sort of thing you know what I mean like she feels like she's got the devil on her back um or like her demons are like there with her and she's kind of fighting them here but she's also yeah she's just feeling them There's going to be an ad coming up. <laughs> Beautiful lighting. Look at that. Where is she? Adolescence contraire par un millier de chars de mort. Marcher pieds nus sur du fer et maintenant tout est plus Interesting. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Okay, so she went and laid down kind of with the devil, put her head on his hat. Almost as if the devil, she'd, she'd been defeated in a way. And she's like, okay, let's just be friends with my demons. Do you know what I mean? Let's just give up, basically. Um, 
And she kind of laid her head up down on him and it made me think of like a, a hypnotherapist in a way, sorry. It made me think of like a hypnotherapist in a way too, like, or like a therapist. But it was so brief as well as she stood up. She looked like she went to grab, like hold her hand out for him to follow, but he just kind of looked at her as if to be like, no, actually I won't follow you. I don't know what that means, but maybe it's like, no, you're gonna, there's a transition coming which there was and now she's fallen and yeah there's a transition but anyway <laughs> I'm just basically trying to say what happened even though you already seen it but I'm just trying to understand it a little bit yeah I love that with the vocal in revive Yeah, I don't think it is. I think I'm just gonna have to guess. I am probably the. I am an animal. <laughs> um, no. He, my, but I like he won't. Let me. <laughs> Michelle and Google Translate. Sorry, this is a thing now. Oh, it says they didn't believe me. The ill name on. I can't say it. it. Says they didn't believe me. I said he didn't let me, but it's they didn't believe me. I wasn't that far off. And what was the bit before? What did I say? I am probably the something. I can't remember what I said. Something to do with an animal, but that was stupid. Um. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, so I it says I've talked to you I've talked about you to my friends, but they didn't believe me. Okay, interesting. I've talked about you to my friends, but they didn't believe me. So and uh, anyway, let's just let's just uh go back to what just happened as well. It looked like um they're all dancing and looked so happy, and then suddenly this devil demon vampire shows up. And it goes all flashing and it looks like all her friends, instead of being loving and rejoicing her, it's like they're suddenly being very, uh, kind of dark and aggressive, but like also more like, um, being a little bit inappropriate, maybe too handsy, like fingers in her mouth and 
grabbing, like devouring her in a way. And then obviously the demon actually does bite her. And um, when she comes out of it, everyone's just normal thinking, oh yeah, just we just did a dance. But in her mind, it felt like all these people touching her and it was like all dark and scary, like it was not nice. What I can relate to that is like, when I, I was really unwell, uh, like good, oh, quite a long time now though, ago now, but, um. Um, I've got P uh, well CPTSD, um, so I remember having a panic attack. Let's call it. It was more like a emotional fit, emotional seizure. I used to get those a lot. And um, when people were trying to help me, like hold me, you know, calm me, I was picturing all like my SAs. Um, all trying to grab me, like I could see them all trying to like grab me and tear me and like every hand, kind hand that was touching me, I thought it was one of my, you know, people who'd done something horrible to me from my past, grabbing me and that's all I could see. And it reminded me of that a little bit. You know, that kind of, oh my God, oh my God, like, you know, you, it's a panic situation, it's a trauma situation. Um, yeah, wow. Leave the door, with me. I believe you. Mm. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. What are you saying? Do you think there's only one thing to do? Beautiful what voice. a song about you. Now can make sense for all the people do. Why are you leaving? Oh, she touch so your body too. Mm. I wrote a song about you. Now pretend that you're the one with me. In mountains, in mountains, in mountains, in mountains, in mountains, in mountains, in mountains. This song is so good. We met. We met. I've never we heard met. this song. I don't think I had the last one either. Must be, I don't know what album this is from. This is like a real, uh, you know, if there is a metaphor to this in some way, there's something kind of beautiful about her chasing around this guy with a microphone. And like, first of all, number one, there being a chase and her, her trying to, you know, have her voice heard. She's fighting for her voice to be heard. She's following the mic as if it's like got some power. But then there's moments of, you know, where the mic feels like it follows her as well. There's a balance there. But also, there's a huge thing about trust here, just visually speaking, because he's holding this mic and he has to guide it in many ways. If he drops it in any way, that could go down her throat, hit her on the head. Do you know what I mean? Something could happen. So there's a huge amount of trust in it and also like precision, just like thinking and uh, teamwork. There's a beautiful amount of teamwork here. Yeah. And yeah, okay. That's what I wanted to say. doing here he looks scared of her he's like he went to grab her but walked never. away <gasps> never why is it done in a day why is it done in a day first you give me so much and run away why am i the one who leaves why am i the one who leaves I'm 
my way out to Jesus. little <sighs> tiny my ears. Ears. She looks great. Wow. Look at this place. It's like she's woken up and there's this, the demons lying on the floor and she's trying to revive him in a way. Maybe she's trying to nurture the darkness or something in her or the, or the devil on her back. Maybe she's trying to give it some compassion. Never back again. Oh, it's like a spell. Or maybe she's killing it. Wow, it's kind of beautiful. I love the brightness of that red. That's so cool. It's so vibrant and alive, you know. I loved that song. I, I imagine these are shortened versions of the songs, but that was so good. Dress like thing situation she's got on is pretty impressive. <laughs> like she has now like shown her friends the the demon the devil that has been on her back now that she's been able to you know sacrifice it kill it get it off her back basically make it less powerful than it was um it feels like they're all like wow they saw it and now they can celebrate because you know she's feeling happy she's free from it and the freedom comes from her friends being able to believe in her and see what she's been dealing with. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Caroline? But I didn't know Caroline was here. <laughs> Casa. Um, that's funny because at the start, that little uh, electronic vocal that happened at the very start of this, I, I was like, oh, it sounds like Caroline Polacek. And then she's in it. That's cool. But uh, 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 Christine's got the devil eyes. So maybe there is something to do with embracing the demon as well. Okay, there's a lot going on here. I 
I could do it. That's going to take some practice, that. I love Christine's facial expression. She's everything. Okay, there's a little bit more, or, or is it? Oh no, it's the credits. Okay, so, it felt like she was free from the devil before, but really, she's just become the devil. She's become the demon. And that could be like a bad thing, as in like, you know, like maybe she's going down a dark path when she was feeling very, like this is also something that I can relate to my life in a weird way. When I went for a breakup, I was sad and felt like lonely and the heartbreak was so strong and I just didn't really tell anyone about it. And then I went for a stage of flipping into something that was quite numb, dark, and like wanted to party and didn't feel a lot. So did a lot of crazy stupid things to feel like a trauma in a way um, and kind of became the darkness. And it reminds me of that a little bit, like from a breakup, that heartbreak turning and becoming so quite dark, but it could mean it from trauma, it could mean anything. Um, so there's obviously a dark side to it, but but there is a flip side of like, maybe something good of being like, we all need a little bit of that like, in us, a little bit of uh, grit, a little bit of anger, a little bit of uh, determination and darkness in us um, to survive in a way. And also just for balance, but, um, I'm not sure exactly what this means, but wow, <laughs> that was cool. Ooh. So some of the comments say, this is surreal. I'll turn that down actually. So some of the, um, the uh, comments say, this is surreal. If she was a man, the industry will be talking about her like the genius she already is. She's so underrated. That's true. Someone said she has all the sexy, unapologetic energy. It, I'm so turned on and inspired. <laughs> I feel that. But yes, absolutely amazing. I loved every single minute of it. There wasn't a dull moment. Every little bit got me curious. Also, just like the dancing, the songs, because quite a lot of those I haven't even heard. Well, I think I've only heard one of them. And then Caroline Polacek, and uh, the facial expressions Christine has, the outfits, the lighting, the transitions, the storytelling, the curiosity I have. That was just beautifully done. Like, honestly, I wouldn't have wanted anything different or anything more. Um, yeah so thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed my reaction and like and subscribe and see you next time bye